Boom, baby. Boom. Rise. Shine. Your light into this world. It's your morning marijuana motivation time. Actually, it's afternoon time. Had some construction going on, but I'm at it. Because the message lives in my heart and it's got to get out like a caged animal. This message is very simple, but change is going to cost you. And by cost, I mean more than money. It's going to cost you your old way of living. See, we all have habits. We all have addictions. Your boy Marky Saint's the only one that's keeping it real on their addictions. That's why I call it Saint's Addiction. Your job is turn your negatives into positives. And that's not so easy to do, see. We are habitual creatures. We get into comfort zones and we get into places where we think everything's going to be okay. Unfortunately, that's not how it works, see. Okay takes a lot of work. And unfortunately, doing that work is going to make you change who you are. See, we are in this ever-loving process of living our lives. And during that living, we get to learn about ourselves. We get to learn about our habits. We get to learn about what type of people we are. How do we treat people? What do we believe in? And what kind of course we want in our lives? What's our purpose in life? And that's why I love talking about psychology. See, most people just go through their lives and they have no idea why they're doing what they're doing. And that bugged me. I wanted to understand people. I actually love people. I love their ideas. I love their energy. I love people on another level. And what I also noticed about loving people is you can see people with their patterns, right? You can see people for who they really are. And it takes your habits to divide who you are, right? If you decide to get up every morning and start running five miles a day, that's going to be your new personality. But it's going to have to cost you your old personality. And not in change, not like the coin change, but in changes in lifestyle change. And that's what I had to do. I had to change my lifestyle. I had to change my perspective and I had to change my psychology. See, my overweight self, my depressed self, uh, the old me wasn't going to do what the new me was willing to do. And that's the question you got to ask yourself. Are you willing to change? And uh, that's how you're going to get the true coins the real gold coins come from changing from within see it's not easy to change the things that we don't uh hold necessarily as dangerous to ourselves right we're like man these cigarettes ain't killing me right now true that and maybe it won't kill you maybe uh, you'll have that story of your 90 year old grandfather that died with whiskey and cigarettes in his hands at you know again at 90 but the other half of it is the lifestyle that you choose right you know some people put on airs and want to pretend like that's their lifestyle but the real you the habitual you the day in day out user that we all are we all get up and use something somebody gets up and gets on their coffee somebody gets up gets on their run and somebody gets up and gets on their blunt that's why i call it the morning marijuana motivation i get up and i know i'm going to smoke my blunt because i choose to i had a conversation with myself is like do i want to lose my memories Will this make me slower? I really appreciate having a brain. Is, is weed going to affect me? So I had to learn for myself. What, what, what was, where were going to be Saint's addictions? Where were my newfound addictions? Because I had to switch up. I had to find a replacement for cocaine. I had to re uh, find a replacement for depression. I had to re find a replacement, a stimulus to match the stimulus that I was trying to find when I was self-medicating. That's just the truth. So when I'm talking about self-medication, you got to ask yourself, what habits have I defined? What kind of usage? or user am I and just like radio player one what kind of user are you going to be and when you get in the game what kind of game are you going to play so this morning marijuana motivation done in the afternoon was almost slipped by but I wanted to make sure that I got the change in there see we all want change in our lives but are we willing to pay the price for the prize and that's the real question of the day so as I live and breathe as I grow and learn and as I keep going into these things that make me who I am I ask myself this one question what am I willing to change to get what I want? And that's the only question that matters. So uh, on my heart from the start, I'm blessed to do the morning marijuana motivation again. I'm grateful that the message reaches, preaches, and teaches. And I'm also grateful when you learn something and you figure out what change you want to have in your world. That's your morning marijuana motivation time. I'm outro. Peace and love. Pew, pew, pew. And as always, chigathon. Peace.